everybody it's Doreen and I'm back today with actually a video request from one of my subscribers she just received a new silhouette cameo from her daughter and she's purchased some images from the silhouette store and she happened upon my channel and saw that I do a lot of tutorials using the silhouette so one of the things that she purchased was a Lori Whitlock file and it's called the 3D Graduation Box. Now she wasn't able to find uh, how to put this together. Lori Whitlock does take and make a lot of videos showing how to put some of her files together. But this particular one she doesn't have a video out on yet. So she mentioned in one of my com uh, one of her comments on one of my videos um, that she had gotten this new machine and she didn't know how to put the box together and her name is Molly so hi Molly I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the graduation box looks like once it's put together and then I'm gonna show you how you lay it out on your mat in case you're not sure how to do that it does when you lay it out it lays it out all grouped together so it can be a little confusing if you're a first time user of using the software and a silhouette on what to do so I want to say that this is not um, a decorated graduation box because I don't have anybody that I know that is graduating from anything so this is just a sample and what I do sometimes is I use just the Georgia Pacific cardstock that you can purchase at Walmart when I want to practice putting something together first before I use my good cardstock so this is what the graduation box basically looks like and as I said I didn't decorate it or put anything on it so you have your little cap at the top where you can add a tassel and then it opens up and what you have inside is your box so come on and join me and I'm gonna show you how to put this graduation box together okay so um, Molly I hope that's your correct name you've gone ahead and purchased your file and this is what your file looks like it's called a 3d graduation cap box and it's by Lori Whitlock and normally Lori um, does have a, she has a YouTube channel and she has a Facebook page and she normally does go ahead and take some of her designs and does a video on how to put them together I'm not sure if because this one is so recent that she just hasn't had a chance to do it yet or she just thinks that it's self-explanatory and that you should know how to put it together so because you ask and you are a new silhouette cameo owner I thought I'd go ahead and download this file to my silhouette software and show you how to lay it on your mat and put it together I don't typically do this unless it's a card that or a file that I've already purchased and at this time I don't have anyone that is graduating so um, I'm just gonna show you how to do this real quickly so this is the file and you've already downloaded it or you should have purchased it and downloaded it to your software and if you're not sure how to do that you basically as soon as you start up your so silhouette software I don't know if you have the designer edition or if you have the um, regular d edition uh, this regular software that comes with your cameo but it used to automatically as soon as you open up the software it would tell you that you had pending orders sometimes mine does that and sometimes it doesn't in this case it did and I already um, added it to my file library but if it didn't do that for you what you can do is go up to file and then you can click the option that says download pending orders and it will go ahead and download any pending orders that you have and once that is done it will download it to your recent downloads folder and then you can go ahead and make up your own folders to put all of your um, images that you download into which is what I've done as you can see over here I have separate 
folders and then some things I just leave in here because I haven't thought of a folder to put them in yet so once you've downloaded it and it's in your recent downloads you're going to double click the file and it's going to open it up and lay it on your mat so now here is your mat and you have it open up to the 12 by 12 and as you can see it's huge and it doesn't fit on the mat so what you're gonna have to do is and I'm gonna just go ahead and open up my size window now if you want to resize this and make it smaller you can on the website it says that this measures 4 by 4 by 2 when it's cut at the original size that's not including the cap that's just the box itself so I'm just gonna leave it the size that it is so I'm gonna go back to my silhouette software and right now everything is grouped together as you can see and you want to separate this so that you can get it laid on your mat or all your pieces if you're using an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper then you would change your mat to an eight and a half by eleven sheet but I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it at the 12 by 12 and because we need to get this to fit on here what you'll need to do is ungroup this now you can go down here to the bottom and click the ungroup button or you can just right click making sure that you have your image with your files all um, clicked and you can just right click and you can click ungroup and what that will do is ungroup your images so that you can move them around and lay them on your mat now I don't know if which I don't think it will fit all of the pieces you can try doing some maneuvering and angling but I don't think it will fit two pieces on a 12 by 12 so because I don't like to waste cardstock what I would do probably is I would rather cut out three eight and a half by elevens that rather than two 12 by 12 so I'm gonna change this and like I said it all depends on what cardstock you want to use and I have enough of the Georgia Pacific cardstock that I don't mind using up three sheets of cardstock because I'm not gonna give this car, uh, box away to anybody this is just to help you understand how to put it together so I'm not gonna do any decorating or anything like that it's just gonna be showing you how to put it together so I'm gonna change my mat to a 11 eight and a half by 11 so as you can see then I'll be able to cut out this piece and then I should be able to fit this piece on there and then my third piece if I was actually making this as a um, centerpiece or as a gift to give away or anything like that I probably would go with the 12 by 12 paper but because this is just for showing you how to lay it on the mat and how to put it together we're just gonna go with uh, three eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper so that's how you lay it on your mat so now I want you to go ahead and cut this out and then meet me back at the table and I'll show you how to put it together okay Molly so you should have all your pieces cut out and also for anyone else that wanted to know how to make this file or put together this file so what you need to do is go ahead and make sure you score on all of your pieces and I kinda have already started doing that right now so I'm just gonna take my bone folder and make sure that I've scored everything down like so and this is actually the top part of the cap um, I believe I think it's called a mortar board I'm not positive that's just a guess but anyway and then you'll also notice that you have a little hole here 
that it looks like it didn't go all the way through when it cut. So I just took my little, um, I call it my pokey tool. The actual name is piercing tool, but I call it my pokey tool. And poked a hole there, and there's also one along in here too. So let's go ahead and continue scoring all of our pieces. So you have a score here, so you need to make sure you score that very well. And then you also have one here, and you should score that. And I'll make sure I score this side as well. And then this side. And I think I've done all of them. I'll score here. And then, and hopefully you can see this on the camera because I'm up against this white paper here, but like I said, I don't really have a anybody that's graduating right now, so I'm just doing this because I had someone ask me to show how to put it together and they couldn't find a video um, on how to put it together. So this is going to be, and that's what I do sometimes when I'm not sure, quite sure how to make or put something together. I just take some of the white uh, Georgia Pacific cardstock that I picked up at Walmart and I just start um, using that to put my things together. So basically this is how you put the bottom piece together you're gonna take and you take your um, put some tape or glue along here and you'll bring that one up and you'll do that side and then you'll do the other side so I'm gonna do that real quick I'm gonna just use some score tape um, you can use glue whatever you have um, usually with boxes I use score tape and that one's a little bit too wide so let me grab another one. Um, I'll grab this one. Um, with boxes and things like that, I usually use the score tape to put them together because I feel the score tape holds it a lot better than the glue sometimes. Although the Scotch Quick Dry Glue does work pretty good too. But in this situation, I'm going to use some score tape. And put this together. And then we're going to need some on this side, on this one too. So we might as well put this on now while I have it out. So I'll just add one here. And then some on this side. And we'll get some over here. And then we'll get some on this side. Okay. So let's go back to putting our bottom piece together first. So I just like to make sure I got that on there so it'll be easier to pull off. So I kind of run my bone folder across there. And then I'm just going to peel this apart and take our backing off. And we'll take it off this side as well. Like so. And then you're just going to take and fold this in and meet your edges. So that's your first one. And then you'll do the same thing for the second one. And what I do sometimes too is I go ahead and take my bone folder and just press down in there just to make sure I've got that in there where it'll stick. And then I'll do the other side. It's kind of easy to do it now because I haven't folded up the other sides. But So now let's get our tape backing off on this side and this side and we'll fold this one in and crease that one and then we'll also go ahead and fold this one in and crease that one so there is your box or the bottom of your box and I'm going to go in here and make sure 
So there's your bottom. Okay, so now for the this the top part here. And actually, for this piece, you're going to tape this all the way down so that it lays flat like that. So basically, if you want, um, let's see if we should tape this down or glue this down. Should probably we can glue this down because actually my tape gun is out of tape. So I'm just gonna get some glue on here. And once I unclog it, and just get some glue along here, and we'll fold that piece down flat. We'll get some glue on this side. Roll this one down flat. And this one. And then this one. And this would be the time before you actually glue this down. Or you can do this if you haven't glued it down. Where you can go ahead if you want to stamp um, congratulations, what the year 2015, or whatever you want to put on there for the top part. And this is also where you have your hole for your tassel. So, and I didn't glue this down a lot because, like I said, this is just a um, sample to show you how to put it together. So that we have that piece, and now we're going to go ahead and put our other top part of the hat together. And we're just going to fold, once again, fold that up so that it meets. And we'll do the other side and fold that in and then we'll do the next side. We'll switch over so I can get that off of there. Okay, and I'm just going to line it up and fold that one in and I've got one more side here. We'll get the tape off of here and we'll fold this one in. And then we will have that portion done. And there you have it. So now, the way this works, so here is your actual box, like so. So, here is your cap that fits on top in an angle. So I'm going to take this apart real quick. And what you'll do is you're going to take and put a brad in there to match those two holes up. So let me get a brad and we'll put that together and then we'll actually be done. Okay, so I've got my brad. Now, um, if you're going to put a tassel on there, I would say put the tassel on in, and then put, put your tassel around your brad. And then put your brad inside the top portion. And like I said, I think this is called the mortar mortar board. I'm just guessing. And then what you'll do is, you remember you have a hole here. So you just stick your brad in through there. And you'll come back and open up your brad. And press down. And then you have... Your graduation cap. You can kind of turn that whatever way you want to make it fit in an angle. So that's it. That's how you put the 3D, the Lori Whitlock 3D graduation box together. So I hope this helped you out, Molly, and congratulations on receiving your silhouette cameo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.